Hi, this is Jared Dees from TheReligionTeacher.com. The story that we call Doubting Thomas from the Gospel of John chapter 20 occurs after the resurrection. So one of the 12 disciples, Thomas, is not present when Jesus appeared to the other apostles. And so when he returns, he doesn't believe them. He says to his friends, unless I see the wounds from the nails in his hands and put my finger in his side, I won't believe. And sure enough, what happens later? Jesus returns. Thomas sees Jesus' glorified body, and what does he do? He puts his finger into the wound of Jesus, the side of Jesus, and he comes to believe. He says, my Lord and my God. He identifies Jesus as my Lord and my God. And so what does this story have to teach us? You know, we are often like Thomas in the story, right? We want to or need to see to believe. And yet what Jesus is calling us to do is not just believe when we see, but believe without seeing. He says, blessed are those who have not seen and yet come to believe. And so those of us who haven't seen this glorious miracle maybe in our own lives, you know, we're blessed when we have faith without seeing things for ourselves. You know, Thomas wanted that proof. And, you know, we have so many opportunities to see proof or the truth of our faith. But we're blessed when we believe with faith, especially during those times when we don't see um, the obvious presence of God in our lives. The other part of the story that is interesting is there are many Thomases that we know in our lives, and often we are like Thomas, who are skeptics. And there's hope for us when we're skeptics. So there's hope for the skeptics, the hope for the people that, that aren't quite sure if they believe what they read or what they hear or, or have taught about the, the faith. So there's hope for us when we are skeptics. There's hope for our friends and family who are skeptics because Jesus may encounter them and they may see and believe. And finally, just a little theological point about this story is that Jesus appears to his disciples with a glorified body, but there's still wounds. So this glorified body points to our own resurrection of the body, our own resurrection, that, that our bodies are going to rise just like Jesus. That's what the church teaches. And so we look at this story knowing that this isn't a new body that Jesus got after he died. This is that same body that was buried in the tomb that is glorified. It's glorified with the wounds of his earthly life. And in the same way, our bodies, we keep them. They are our bodies. So treat your body, your physical body, with respect because that will be glorified like Jesus in the resurrection. So lots of things to, to draw from this story. Something to reflect on is when I am like Thomas, not able to see, maybe skeptical about what I'm being taught, you know, am I open to Jesus's presence? in my life, to be able to see, to be able to experience some proof that's going to cause me to believe. And if not, I'm going to receive a, a blessing by believing without seeing. Go make disciples. God bless.